It's time for Tuesday Terror, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Those after you. It hurts. I know the ocean is close. I can hear it. But all I can see is this clock. It is rough. Black slate. Warm. It is all I can see in any direction. Right. Left. Up. Down. It covers this sober time, ever present. It hurts. I blink. It is cold under my feet. I'm on a gray stone, covered in small constellations made of black, white and the shadows in between. It is a rock I can imagine by a riverside in the mountains, surrounded by nettles and small animals. But nothing is alive here, just the stone rising, becoming an altar. There's a cloth over it, soft yet tough, like leather. Yes, leather. It's black and white, as the stars underneath my feet, and a fine line divides its color. On it, the first object I see is a book. I know it's old, and it casts a small yet twinkling light. It smells like incense, and the symbol carved on the cover is... It says I've seen it before, but I don't recognize it. It is important. Sacred. Yes. Sacred. If I open it, I'll glimpse the infinite, the elevated. If I open it, it will answer all my questions. Close to the book, there's a violet hyacinth, growing in the stone, elegant and tall. It's surrounded by a deep sorrow, by regret. If I touch it, it will wither. If I caress the soft petals, it will die. The earth will cry blood, transparent and pure. So full of life. A box. It is a relic with intricate patterns that twist and change with every swirl, every angle, every... <laughs> it's cold. Hostile. The kind of cold that chills your bones, that scars your ribs. The book twinkled, but this, this vibrates with the force of a storm. There's something sour in the air. If I open it, I, I do not know. I, I don't know. I feel the boy looking back at me, but. Stop. It hurts. There is something else. It's not on the line, but on the white side of the leather. I thought it was a simple cup, but it's melting and its perfume is familiar. 
It smells of wax, of blood. I walk around the altar. I need to see what's inside. If I lift it, I will drown. I look back at the rest of the objects and I can hear the voices inside me, inside my chest, my head, my stomach. Read me, touch me, lean in. When I stare at the cup, there is just silence. When I wrap my hands around it, I expect the wax to warm me, but it is lukewarm, it's pleasant. I lift it, and I drink it. Drink, drink, drink. Hi, I'm David Orion Pena, writer and producer of Dos After You and The Voice of Tech. This is an independent podcast. If you want to be part of our community and support it, you can join now our Patreon at patreon.com slash you. Another great and zero-cost way of supporting it is to subscribe, rate, and review it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts, and spread the word and share it with your friends. Thank you for listening. And remember, record yourself. Seal may be listening. Today on our trip, we'll like to thank our Patreons, Evan and Theo. Thank you for the bus tickets. Hi there. Do you like science fiction and fantasy? Well, you're in luck. Wednesday Wonders is the mutual audio feed that has all things to do with the world of the unknown. Subscribe to the full mutual audio network feed every day for amazing audio, or you can find the Wednesday Wonders for all of your sci-fi and fantasy needs in your favorite podcast player. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.